G'day everyone, B Agent out here. Today we're going to look at the internals of the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon 7th generation. Now I've already taken off the back cover, it's just a matter of removing five screws and the back cover comes off pretty easily. So now first off with the X1 Carbon, the RAM is soldered to the main board so you can't really upgrade that. So we're going to look at it down to this section here. So right here underneath here you can actually see that that is the SSD PCMIe slot here so you can actually quickly remove that and upgrade that if you wish. So I've got one there, it's just a matter of taking one screw out there. Now there's this empty slot here, now that's for the WAN card, I don't have this one opt-in for this particular model, but that's where you would install if you do need. Uh, we'll get the fan so it's pretty easy to actually clean the fan if you do wish to clean the fan. Now that's pretty much all you have on the side that you can actually upgrade. Now. Uh, of course this is the battery here, now the battery is held by six screws, I've already pre-taken them off and you would have to remove that off from here uh, by just unplugging, I'm going to leave it plugged in, it's not too hard because I'm just going to want to lift this up so you can actually see what's underneath it. So at the moment, right underneath the battery, because I've taken off the screw, so you've got the coin battery here, now that's, uh, and it's plugged right into here so you can actually, do, you don't even have to remove that to reset it, you can just unplug it here and then plug it back in, so if you need to reset the uh, CMOS battery or, or the clock, that's where you can do it. Now, located down to the left hand here is where the fingerprint module is, that's where it is. Now around about here you also can install the SIM, I don't actually have it actually on opt-in for this particular model as well but that's kind of where it is installed as well. Putting the battery back in pretty much you've got the speakers on the left and right here and of course we've got the CPU running underneath here as well too but you wouldn't be taking those off. And also I'm going to also make a note mention here, uh, right up top here is the Wi-Fi card here as well too, so that's the actual module there. Uh, you don't really need to remove that, I think that's actually soldered in and it's just a matter of upgrading that part there if need be. If you find this video informative or enjoyed it, give me a like. If you haven't done already, subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner of the screen. I do try to upload a new video every Tuesdays and Fridays. And just remember, imperfections and life makes it beautiful and interesting. I'll see you in the next video.